Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the Maker's Cave. And it's a rainy Sunday afternoon here. It's the 2nd of October. The remnants of Hurricane Ian are going through by Pennsylvania where I'm at. So we've got some rain outside. So I thought this would be a perfect time to do another video on a prop controller. I've gotten a lot of requests for um, the, the sound. It, what, what you guys seem to want is something that can play multiple sounds uh, and work a relay and is motion activated. Uh, you've seen in the past we use some Arduinos to do that, some other uh, uh, contraptions or boards to do that. But I started looking around to see what you, you guys could use and I stumbled across this. This is a neat little self-contained board right here. It's got a motion sensor right here. It has an SD card here if you want it, but it's got four megs of memory built into it. So all you got to do is just plug this in with a USB cable and you can download your, your sound files right to it. It has this, um, I think I made mention already, it has a speaker output, and, which is three watts sound, which is pretty loud. I'll show it to you in a second. It also has a three and a half a millimeter jack or headphone jack so you can plug computer speakers into it. And what's really neat about this, if you, much like the other um, sound card files for these boards, if you name your file like 001, 002, it'll randomly play, uh, actually doesn't randomly play, it goes down in sequence, one uh, music, a music file or sound file after the other. So you're not limited to just one. And like the other boards, it also has a busy, uh, busy pin right here. So it can activate a relay. Uh, so that's what we're going right here. So what we're going to do is first, let me, let me show you how the board works. Now, there is one caveat with this board. Sometimes there's not much of a de delay between one activation and another. But, you know, if you just put a shroud or something in front of this uh, motion sensor and direct it, you can cut down on some extra triggering. But I'm going to plug this in right now. So it's probably going to activate the minute I put it in. Okay, you heard that sound. I know it was you kids. Trying not to move so it works. Before we go any farther, I keep using these particular sounds, and these are actually supplied by a customer that had me work on a skull for him, and I want to give a shout out to him for him letting me use these sounds over and over again in all my videos. So here's the motion sensor. I'm trying to not move very much down here. So as you can see, as I move over it, <laughs> there's a small delay of two seconds between. Now, those two last were back to, to back, but you could tell they were different. So it's rotating through the songs. So it's pretty nifty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, as usual, we're going to... Welcome to Scarsman Manor. Now get off my land. Like usual, I'm going to bring you guys forward. We're going to do a top down, and I'm going to go over this board and all the options, and we're going to show you how to have this also activate a relay when those sounds play. All right, we're zoomed in real tight here so I can go over everything. Here is the tiny little motion sensor right here. Uh, right here, you can see the hole for the pin for the busy signal. Over here is the two holes where you can put pins for the speaker mount. And down here is uh, from auxiliary voltage in. This will run off of the USB power, so you could just use a brick and plug a USB cable in here, and this would work as is. But we're actually going to have to use these auxiliary power uh, pins here because we're going to power the uh, the relay, and that relay needs a strong 5 volts to work. So we're going to have to supply some voltage here using our USB. Um, let me get into focus for it. Using our USB power cable here, which we've used before, and I'll show you how to do that. And what we're going to be hooking up to it is another one of these relays that we've you've seen before that we've used. Uh, this relay is going to have the heavy duty uh, contacts on here uh, because I'm going to do some AC. I'm going to have this turn on some lights with the with the sound files at play. So I want to use the ones with the heavy duty terminals right here. And there was something else I wanted to tell you. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's why I, I completely phased out. I forgot what I wanted to tell you. Think but fly. Think. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's why I, I completely phased out. I forgot what I wanted to tell you. The board as it comes into us uh, does not have these pins right here, but if you, I'll put a link below to where you can purchase one of these. Uh, 
they'll have the uh, what the the uh, connections will already be in there. The pins here's the pins for the speaker. Here's the pins for the power. Um, over here is the pin for the busy signal. Uh, all those will be uh, soldered in for you, so you don't have to worry about soldering those pins in. Uh, we'll do them for you. And like I said, I'll put a link below um, where you can order these from. Uh, it'll be a whole kit with the, uh, the sound card and the relay and the uh, power cord. Now, just to show you how this is going to work, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take an LED right here, all right? And what I'm going to do is on the busy pin, I'm going to put the positive and the negative I'm going to just put over here on this negative ground for the power right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plug this in. What I'll do now is I will activate the board. I will forever haunt your dreams. And as you can see, the LED lit up when uh, the song's playing and it stays lit as long as whatever sound is playing. which means the relay will stay active for as long as uh, the music file or the sound file is playing. So let me show you how we're gonna wire this all up. So here's the board as you would get it. Uh, it's got all the pins soldered on here. It's got the motion sensor. Um, and in the future, I think we're gonna make a little case for this, just like we do with our bigger one, to focus this beam so there's no side activation. Only directly in front will activate it, but that's coming down the road. We'll, we'll design that. There's also an on and off switch here. The on and off switch only functions when you're powering by the auxiliary power pins, which is what we're going to be using. When you power it with the USB cable, uh, if you're just using it natively with no relay or anything, uh, this turns on automatically. The board just comes on the minute you plug the, the USB power into it. But we're going to be using the auxiliary power right here. So the on and off switch is actually going to work. Now, the main thing that we have to do is we need to split we need to get power to the board and we need to get power to the relay. So what we're going to be using, of course, is our USB power cable here, which if you're not familiar, it's just a simple cable. It's got a USB mail at one end and it breaks out the cables in the other end. This particular cable has, um, well, there's five, there's two, there's, two, there's two grounds, but ignore that. Ignore this other one. Don't watch what's going on over here. So there, usually most cables only have four, which is your green and your white your red and your black, uh, which of course the red and the black are power, but the green and the white are for the data coming from the USB device. Of course, we don't need that, so we're going to cut them off. And on this particular one, there's an extra ground right here. We really don't need that, so we're gonna take that off. So now what we have is just the lead with um, a positive and a negative coming out of that to power things for uh, it'll give five volts and like I said if you order the kit all this will already be done for you and so here's our, our the main thing we have to do we have to get this power and we have to get power to the relay and we have to get power to the board that's all we have to do with this oh and of course we have the uh, busy pin uh, over here which we're gonna have to connect to the trigger the trigger pit whoop I'm sorry to the uh, trigger pin of the uh, the relay powers over here, trigger pins over here. So this is, uh, compared to some of the other builds, this is really pretty simple because everything is all self-contained in here. So all we're basically going to do is we're going to take this black lead here and we're going to take this red lead here, which is the positive negative, and we're just going to attach two wires to each one of these. So, you know, one negative goes to the relay, the other to the board, uh, one positive goes to the uh, relay, and the other positive goes to the, uh, to the board. Real easy peasy. Now what makes this really easy to do is I have here, I have a DuPont wire and it's got a male pin on one end. Let me see if I can get you to show that better. And it's got the female end at the other. This is perfect. All I'm basically going to do is I'm gonna take this lead, this male female DuPont connector and I'm just gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna cut it right there. Now we have two leads and this is perfect because the pin one can go into the screw terminals of the relay and the DuPont female can go right on the pin of the board. So we're just going to expose some wire here and to do that we need our wire strippers. So we're just going to expose some wire right here and we're just going to twist these two together. So there we go. We have two leads now. One that can go to the relay, 
when you go to the board, we're going to do the same thing with the negative lead. So now we have a splitter lead here so we can fire things off uh, and go to each board. And now we just have to put them on here. Now you can twist these together, all right, or you can solder these. Of course, if you order the kit, this will all be done for you so the leads will be soldered and there'll be some um, uh, <laughs> shrink wrap tubing, uh, shrink tubing over top of these to protect these. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to twist these together for the purposes of showing you on the video. So I'm just going to take some electrical tape and I'm just going to put some temporary connections. Like I said, and if, if you were doing this on your own, I would highly recommend that you uh, solder these in. But like I said, for the sake of time to show you this, because I wanted to get this video out pretty quick because I know you guys are asking about it. And like I said, it's the 2nd of October, so Halloween is right around the corner. Okay, so now we have these two connectors right here. So let's power up each one of these. So we're going to take the female red right here, and we're going to put this over to the positive on the board. You know, I had autofocus off, so you couldn't see before. I apologize for that. And then we're going to take the other female DuPont connector, and we're going to put that right on here like that. Now we're going to fire off the relay. So here's the terminals for the relay. This is, it says it right on here. This is the positive. So what we do is we're going to take the female pin, or yeah, the male pin rather, those DuPont connectors that we split off. Put that right in there. Do the same for the negative. Okay, so now we've got the positive and the negative going to the relay to make the relay work. And now we just, the only last thing we have to do is this is, is labeled in, which is the trigger wire from the board right over here. Okay, right, this pin right here. And there's also a jumper setting here. So this relay either gets activated and receives a high signal or a low signal. This board puts out a high signal, so I've set the jumper over to here, so where it gets activated with a high signal. So we'll just simply take a male to female uh, DuPont connector, and we'll put that on that pin there, and then we will run it right over to here, put it in the in terminal on the relay. Okay, so now we have power going to the relay and we have power going to the board. Let me back up a little bit here. Okay, power going to the relay board, power going to the sound board. Here is the built-in motion detector. We already have the sounds loaded on there. And all we have now is we have this cable right here. So we'll just take this wire tie off. And now you can just use any common USB brick uh, you can get for five below or, you know, anywhere right here. Or you can even use a power pack, uh, a battery power pack that puts out five volts. So we're just going to plug this right into here. Now, this is probably going to sound off when I plug this in. Um, let me plug this into the outlet. So I forgot to plug the speaker in. We'll plug the speaker in on this. There we go. Okay, this power switch controls it. So let's turn the power switch on. Now I'm going to zoom back in here. If you saw that relay going on right here when the sound plays. So that means this relay came on. For forever haunt your dreams. So this relay came on every time it senses motion uh, and played the song. I'm going to turn this off so I can do Get out of my graveyard. Are you going to become one of my friends? Actually, no, I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all this center right here. I know it was you kids. And if you'll notice, I'm trying to move very slowly so the motion doesn't go off. <laughs> you'll notice there's a push pin. A push pin. <laughs> there's a push button right here, and that actually works the volume. <laughs> Get off my land. 
So this is just running off of a... Let me turn this off. So as you can see, this has got a lot of volume right here with the speaker. So this is a cheap little uh, speaker that I bought. I got this from uh, a Goodwill, I think. I think I paid a couple dollars for it, but you can use, get speakers off of Amazon, uh, yard sales, whatever. So you don't even really need some powered speakers. This does pretty good by itself. Uh, right here, like I said, it's a three watt audio amplifier. So the next thing we're gonna do is let's wire up some lights to this relay so I can show you exactly how all this works. Now we're getting ready to wire in the light here. And this is how we do this is, you know, we've just taken a lamp and we split one side of the cable off here. And what you do is on the relay, you want to use the normally, um, the normally open contacts right here. There's a common normally open, which means as the relay sits unactivated, no connection is made with the contacts. Um, if you wanted the light to always be on and then maybe the light go off when something is sensed, you would simply put these to the normally closed, which means the light would always be on until the music started to play and the relay was activated and then the lights would go out. So we're going to do actually the normally open so the lights turn on when somebody comes near it. And because we're using AC, that's why I want this heavier duty relay. Now when you're wiring these up, remember, you want to make sure that your AC device is unplugged, okay? Because AC will hurt, will kill. So you want to make sure that's unplugged. So now, let's switch to front view. And what we'll do is we will plug the light in. We want to make sure the soundboard is off so it doesn't activate. And it is off. Now we will plug this in. Okay, the light is plugged in, and I think now it's turned on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to turn the board on, okay, and when it gets activated, it's going to activate the relay, play the sound, and we should um, get the light to come on. Turning the board on now. I will forever haunt your dreams. Okay, the light was probably off. Let's try again. Get out of my graveyard, or you become one of my friends. And again, you know I'm easily amused. This tickles me. I know it was you kids. <laughs> there you go. Let's turn this off. So that is how you can use this board with motion sensing to activate a relay, to act a prop, to act a prop, to activate a prop uh, when the uh, sound file gets activated. Um, if you have a small sound, okay, the sound's only like maybe a couple seconds long, but you actually want your particular prop to go a little bit longer, okay, um, after, after the sound, you can use a program like Audacity which is a free download, uh, put a link below, uh, where you can modify so, uh, uh, all kinds of MP3 WAV files, whatever you want. And what you can do is you can add dead space after your, your music. You can just add no sound whatsoever. The board will still think it's playing sound even though nothing's coming out, so it'll keep the uh, relay activated. That's one way you can even add some space in front, so maybe that a um, the light comes on a few seconds later, the music will come on or the sound will come on. And if you want, you can put sound, uh, dead sound after it and it'll continue to work afterwards. So that's, that's the ways you can play around with that. Uh, I'll do another video on that if you guys leave a comment below if you guys want to know how to take a sound file and put dead space in the front and behind to modify how these work. You can. But I think, um, like I said, I'll put a link below to this particular uh, board. Uh, it'll come as a kit. Uh, everything will already be done for you. Uh, the connectors will all be soldered and shrink tubing will all be on there. It'll all be real nice. Like I said, I just wanted to show you in case you wanted to do this on your own, how you can do it. I think this is a perfect solution for you guys who have been emailing me and saying, I want sounds, I want random sounds, like more than one sound, and I want music to play. This is really a cool board, really small footprint. Again, you can go to a dollar store, um, get a Tupperware container. You can stuff all this in the, in the Tupperware container uh, to make it waterproof. 
Uh, you definitely, if you got some AC connections here, you definitely want to make sure it's waterproof. But this is this is great. And if you guys want to see some of this modified, do something a little bit different, you um, you certainly can. Uh, one of the other things uh, you can also do is uh, there is a double relay, okay, that uh, we'll make available. So it'll be two relays, and they can actually uh, split off here. And what will happen is this particular uh, board, when activated, will work two relays instead of one. So that's real cool. So you can have one work a motor, one work a set of lights, because you can use this to activate like a deer motor, um, any a wiper motor. You know, that's what's nice about these heavy-duty terminals. They'll take a lot of uh, amperage, so you can use that kind of stuff. I'm trying to think if I may have forgotten everything. I went over this really quick today because you guys have been, you know, really well received to a lot of my videos and you were really asking me about this. And I wanted to get this out because, like I said, this is the 2nd of October. We've, it's the crunch time now. Everybody's, you know, display is up and running. So if you wanted one of these, uh, we only have a limited supply of them. I think we've only got like maybe a, a dozen of them. Uh, so if you would like them, I'd run over to the store and get that. I'll put, like I said, I'll put the link below. But uh, I think you guys will really like this. So if you found, here comes the Begathon, if you found this uh, video helpful, be sure to uh, put a like out there. Um, if you want to see more of what we're doing, because we, I'm going to be doing Halloween stuff all throughout the year, uh, not just around Halloween time, because, you know, us builders, we start doing stuff, you know, November 1st, we're planning next year. So all throughout the year, I'll be doing more stuff. So be sure to subscribe so you can see what other stuff we're doing. And if you want to know when that stuff comes out, be sure to hit a bell and hit the bell. And then uh, you'll get notified when that happens. So, and uh, like I said, I'll put a link below to everything. So until next time, I'm Steve. Thanks for stopping by the Maker's Cave. And I'll see you at the next build.